Well, it's quite early on a Saturday morning and I'm actually about to head off for a girls weekend away but um, I thought to save wasting the morning I'm going to put together the last of the two chicken houses I've been working on. These chicken houses are great, they only use a, a single sheet of plywood so I'll put a link to the instructions and stuff for that down below. You have to excuse the fact that I'm freezing cold and I am in my pyjamas still. <laughs> Um, but I want to get this done. So here's to a quick step by step of how to throw these chicken houses together. The first thing I'm doing is this is the base piece and I'm attaching the two sides with a couple of screws. Next we're doing the same with the front. wanted to add a quick note about uh, the roofing tin. This is actually really old stuff. It's actually got some holes in it you can see here um, and it's pretty crusty and we're not actually we're just making it fit. Um, if this was going to be a chickens only shelter you would want the roof not to have holes in it and for it to overlap all the edges to let the water run off but um, this is actually going in to a run that's going to have um, a roof over the whole area so for us it's more about just keeping it dark and um, helping with the structural integrity of the actual house see here you can um, probably just make out the nesting boxes and this is a liftable perch that we can just take out so we can clean underneath it and so last thing we need to do is add the doors um, this is designed to be up off the ground so um, you can either add some 4 by 2s as legs, just screw them on, or um, in our case we're actually going to be hanging them in a frame that we've already built. Um, and then that's what all these bits of wood down here are, all the ramps that we will attach for all the doors to ramp down to the ground. Um, and if you want to, you can use the scrap that came out of here and make it an openable door but we're just going to be leaving ours open. So the last thing to do is to attach the doors and the latch and that's it.
not properly done. No. I ended up making with all those individual chicken houses that I built. <laughs> As you can see it's got a roof over the top which we'll put water collection on the other side and it's all designed so we can all access it from this end without having to go <laughs> thank you rooster without having to go right round into the paddock. So these open up from the back And you can access the nesting boxes and the perches and down here we can access it to feed them. And in each of these separate pens we have a different breed of chickens that we're keeping separate. <laughs> these guys have kindly kicked all their food out everywhere. And it means that we can uh, let each individual pen out into the orchard area to free range while still keeping the breed separate so that we can breed true to type. <laughs> now the other end of the run has got doors out into the paddock like full height doors to make it easier to clean them out as well. <laughs> so basically they're just sort of a closed in run. Um, which means that it protects them from the rain. We get a lot of rain here and the ground gets really muddy and gross. So this way we can do them on like a deep litter sort of bedding style. Um, protect them from the rain while they're still having plenty of sunshine outdoors time. <laughs> <laughs> 